Welcome to Burns Hustles, where we turn side hustles into cash. Warren Buffett, often dubbed the Oracle of Omaha, became one of the wealthiest people on the planet. Well, let's turn the clock back and delve into the story of this financial virtuoso. Born in Omaha, Nebraska in 1930, Warren Buffett is a testament to the American dream. From delivering newspapers to owning one of the most successful investment companies globally, his journey is nothing short of extraordinary. But did you know that his tryst with the financial world began at a tender age of 11? Yes, you heard it right, 11. Young Warren made his first investment in the stock market, purchasing shares of a company named City Service. Despite an initial setback, he held on to his belief in the potential of his investment. This early experience not only taught him the value of patience in investing but also sparked an enduring interest in the stock market. Buffett's intellectual curiosity led him to the hallowed corridors of Columbia Business School. There he found a mentor in Benjamin Graham, often referred to as the father of value investing. Graham's teachings resonated with Buffett's innate understanding of investments, and the principles of value investing became the cornerstone of his investment philosophy. Value investing in essence, is about buying stocks at less than their intrinsic value. It involves a thorough analysis of the company's fundamentals, a keen understanding of the market dynamics, and above all, patience. Buffett honed these skills under Graham's tutelage, setting the stage for his future success. Warren Buffett, a man of humble beginnings, nurtured his interest in investments from an early age, setting the foundation for his future success. This early grounding in the principles of investing, combined with his unwavering patience and an astute understanding of the market, paved the way for his ascent to the pinnacle of the financial world. So as we delve deeper into his journey, remember, the Oracle of Omaha wasn't built in a day. But how did Buffett make his fortune? The answer lies in a textile manufacturing company named Berkshire Hathaway. Once upon a time in the mid-20th century, Berkshire Hathaway was a struggling textile mill in New England. In the year 1962, a young Warren Buffett began buying shares in the company. He saw value where others didn't. But the relationship between Buffett and the management of Berkshire Hathaway was tense. The management made an offer to buy back Buffett's shares. But when they tried to shortchange him, Buffett responded by buying more shares, eventually taking control of the company by 1965. But Buffett didn't just want to run a textile mill. He had bigger plans. He transformed Berkshire Hathaway into a holding company. And this is where the magic happens. Instead of focusing on the dying textile business, he used Berkshire Hathaway as a vehicle to buy other companies. One of Buffett's most brilliant moves was investing in insurance companies. These companies collect premiums creating what's known as float. This float is a steady stream of money that can be invested. And who better to invest it than the Oracle of Omaha himself? Buffett bought insurance companies like Geico and National Indemnity. Their float provided the cash Buffett needed to buy stakes in blue-chip companies like Coca-Cola and American Express. His keen eye for undervalued companies and the consistent cash flow from the insurance businesses allowed him to make investments that would compound over the years, creating extraordinary wealth. So, what's the secret sauce in Buffett's recipe for wealth? It's simple. Find undervalued assets, invest in them, and let the power of compounding do the rest. This strategy, coupled with the steady stream of income from his insurance investments, allowed him to take a struggling textile mill and turn it into one of the most successful holding companies in the world. Berkshire Hathaway, once a struggling textile mill, became the vehicle for Buffett's extraordinary wealth. So, what drives Buffett's investment decisions? His philosophy is surprisingly simple. At the heart of Buffett's investment approach is a relentless focus on the intrinsic value of companies. But what does this mean? Intrinsic value is the perceived worth of a business, taking into account every tangible and intangible aspect. While the stock market might assign a dollar value to a company based on current trends and short-term forecasts, Buffett looks beyond the surface. He evaluates factors such as a company's competitive advantage, management quality, and financial health to determine its true worth. Next, let's discuss Buffett's preference for businesses that he understands. This might seem like common sense but it's a principle many investors overlook. Buffett invests in companies whose business models he comprehends thoroughly, often referring to this as his circle of competence. This doesn't mean he only invests in simple businesses, rather, it means he invests time in understanding complex industries and companies before making an investment decision. If a business doesn't make sense to him, he simply moves on. There's no room for speculation in Buffett's playbook. 
Finally, we turn to Buffett's long-term investment horizon. Unlike many investors who obsess over short-term gains and losses, Buffett is a staunch advocate of long-term investing. He firmly believes that the real value of an investment unfolds over time, often over a span of many years. Buffett isn't concerned with the daily ups and downs of the stock market. Instead, he looks for solid businesses that will grow and flourish over time. This long-term perspective allows him to ride out market volatility and reap the rewards of patient investing. Buffett's investment philosophy isn't about making quick bucks, it's about understanding the true value of a business, sticking to what you know, and having the patience to wait for your investments to bear fruit. It's a philosophy that requires discipline, patience, and a deep understanding of business fundamentals. Buffett's philosophy rooted in simplicity and patience has proven to be a winning strategy. Buffett's philosophy has led him to some remarkable investments. Let's take a look at some. One of the most emblematic investments of Warren Buffett's career has been Coca-Cola. In the late 80s he began buying shares in the beverage giant, ultimately amassing a staggering 9.3% stake in the company. Today that investment continues to pay dividends, literally and figuratively, contributing significantly to Berkshire Hathaway's bottom line. Then, there's American Express. Buffett first invested in the financial services company in the mid-60s, following a major financial scandal that had shaken investor confidence. Seeing the inherent value in the company's trusted brand and customer loyalty, he took a 5% stake. Today, Berkshire Hathaway owns more than 13% of American Express, an investment that has paid off handsomely over the decades. More recently, Buffett turned his attention to the tech sector, a move that surprised many given his traditional focus on consumer goods and insurance. In 2016, he began buying shares in Apple. Despite initial skepticism, this investment has proven to be one of his most profitable yet. By the end of 2020, Berkshire Hathaway owned more than 5% of Apple, with the tech giant's soaring stock price contributing significantly to Berkshire's overall value. Each of these investments embodies the core tenets of Buffett's philosophy, a focus on long-term value, a deep understanding of the business, and a commitment to companies with strong brand loyalty and competitive moats. And each has delivered significant returns, not just in terms of financial gain, but also in terms of validating Buffett's approach to investing. These lucrative investments underline the effectiveness of Buffett's approach and his uncanny ability to pick winners. Buffett's success extends beyond his personal wealth. His influence on the investment world is truly remarkable. His legacy, however, is not confined to the realm of finance. It permeates every corner of society, from philanthropy to the guiding principles of many investors worldwide. Warren Buffett is not just a titan of industry, but a titan of generosity as well. He holds a deep-seated commitment to giving back, a philosophy that is evident in his pledge to donate over 99% of his wealth to philanthropic causes, and he's not just talking the talk, he's walking the walk. As part of the Giving Pledge, a commitment by the world's wealthiest individuals and families to give away the majority of their wealth, Buffett has already donated tens of billions of dollars to various charities. But his influence doesn't stop at his financial contributions. Buffett's investment philosophy has become a guiding light for investors around the globe. He is known for his unwavering focus on value, his patience, and his long-term perspective. His teachings have become a foundation for many, proving that investing is not about chasing trends, but about understanding the intrinsic value of a business and its prospects for the future. And it's not just his philosophy that continues to resonate. Buffett's approach to life, his humility, and his emphasis on continuous learning have also left a lasting impact. He is a living example of the power of simplicity, of staying true to your principles, and of never stopping your quest for knowledge. Despite being in his 90s, Buffett remains a relevant figure in the investment world. His words of wisdom continue to inspire, his actions continue to make a difference, and his investment strategies continue to yield results. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, has left an indelible mark on the world of investment. His story is a testament to the power of patience, simplicity, and a deep understanding of value. His legacy serves as a beacon, guiding us through the often tumultuous seas of investment.